buffalo wing potatoes. Oh my god, this is a... the hell? Sorry, I didn't realize that this was a purple potato. But purple potatoes are delicious, so that is okay. Cut these guys up into little cubes. One of my favorite things to make really fast when you have people coming in the door or you're just hungry and you want to have a little personal meal. I chop up potatoes, soak them in water, and then you fry these things up and it's just a great little like side to breakfast. I mean, it's great for anything, but take one potato, that's really all you need for yourself. It cooks really fast because it's all chopped up already. And it is delicious by God. So yeah, I just kind of slice it down like this on the sides. Oh God, be careful, you'll uh, take your finger off, you know? Especially if this thing's floating around, it's, it's good to put down, if you take a little bit of uh, paper towel actually, and you wet it, like so, and you just put it under, it'll help it from uh, moving, and help you from losing your fingers too, too quickly, too young in age. So this is the part where you just take out your potatoes, get them nice and dry. Anything you're cooking, I mean you can cook stuff wet, but if you want to get it crispy and brown, just do yourself a favor and pat the things dry. For the love of God, pat them dry and you will thank me. Turn your pan on to medium high. Medium high, I don't know, it's just, you know, when I'm getting high, medium high is a good high to be. I don't want to be super high, I mean sometimes, but you know, being medium high is a good high and I think it works the same way for cooking. You know, medium high isn't too high, just high enough. Canola oil, great all purpose oil, doesn't have much taste, cheap, and high smoke point. And we know how much when it comes to smoking, we like it being high. Why is it, why is everyone always talking as though it's we? You know, you see that on cooking shows, even I do it, I don't even mean to, I've just watched too many shows. It's like, now we're gonna add a little bit of this, and then what we love to do is just, I mean, who is, who is doing this? Who is we? There's one person doing it. Potatoes love salt, so don't be afraid to really get after that guy. Pepper. You can add whatever the hell you want, but for me, paprika and a little bit of cayenne treat. Does it all. It's funny, sometimes in cooking shows, I've seen this before, they'll add way too much seasoning to even taste good, just because on camera they want it to look like, you know, yeah, I've got so much of this stuff. It is funny when they add, you're like, eh, that's, that's, that's a pretty good amount of salt there. Would you like some potatoes with that salt? You know, you could even do um, like buffalo wing potatoes if you can't afford chicken, or if you just want to taste the buffalo wing. Honestly, just fry up some potatoes, toss them in hot sauce, Maybe I should do that. And you know, while these were frying, I just decided, had the idea for the buffalo wing potatoes. I don't know, right now it sounds just right. All right, I'm gonna take these things off. So I'm just gonna melt butter. Like so. As the butter melts, just splash in the old hot sauce, whatever hot sauce you want. Sometimes I'll even add vinegar, spices. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne to make it extra spicy. But that's really all buffalo wing sauce is. Oh my god. It's like molten lava. It's glorious. That is done. One and done. Oh shit. Uh oh. I just burnt. I'm an idiot. It's totally melted my spatula. Now at this point, all I do is just pour hot sauce everywhere. Are you kidding me? Ranch. All right, let's check this out. Wow. This dish is perfect if you're like watching a football game during breakfast. 